time days start on Tuesday. So in today's video, I'm bringing you all things Amazon. Lots of yays and some days that you shouldn't waste your money on. We're going to start with the not worth it, move to the new to me travel items, some of my summer favorites, and finally a roundup of my all-star Amazon travel essentials with a few bonuses thrown in at the end. Let's go. We're going to start off our not worth it items with the flex flap. Y'all, I have had this for three and a half years. I've carried it with me on so many trips and I have never used it once. There are so many good hacks. A couple that I talked about in a video a couple of weeks ago that you can use to set your phone up on your tray table to watch your videos or your movies or whatever you want to watch while you're flying that there's no reason to go out and buy this thing. I mean, it doesn't take up much space, but really you don't need to spend the money on it. Coming in second on items that you definitely don't need to spend the money on for travel essentials is this Infinity Travel Pocket Scarf. It has like two zippered pockets in here. Again, this is another item that I have had for close to three years been on a couple of trips with me. I really just didn't like it. I didn't like putting my passport in here. It was really challenging to get to because the zippers are kind of hidden and hard to get to. Um, I definitely didn't like carrying my phone in there. It's just too heavy to kind of have around my neck. So this is another one. Don't go out and buy it. It's not worth it. Now I do like having a blanket with me on the airplane, especially for longer flights or red eyes. But this Blue Hills blanket is another item that's just not worth the money. There are so many other options out there that don't take up this much space and are actually more productive than this one is. When I originally got this, I actually thought it was like a pillow and a blanket combo, but it isn't. The blanket is just zipped up, folded up inside this cover. And I guess you could like shove like a sweatshirt inside the cover and make it into a pillow but it's just, it's too bulky, really, is what it comes down to. It's just too big and bulky. And I know you've got the carabiner that you can carry it on the outside of your backpack, but again, that's just, it's just too much stuff. It gets to be too much stuff. And I have other options for blankets and pillows that I use anyway. So I would say this Blue Hills blanket, it's just, it's an A. It's an A for sure. I wanted this next item to work out so badly. I've seen a couple of other YouTube influencers show this item and they put it on and tried it on and talked about how great it was and how it was cooling and it was so flattering. And I was like so excited. I was gonna get it. It was gonna be my travel day outfit for my trip to Japan. Y'all, this thing, this, this set, this travel day outfit set, Whew, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I don't know why it's viral. It is probably one of the most unflattering things I've put on my body recently. The pants remind me of I Dream of Jeannie, like harem pants. And they're so heavy. They're made out of this super thick knit material. I actually weighed them on my scale <laughs> and the pants are like a pound and a half. I mean, that's a lot of weight to carry around during a travel day. The sweater was okay, but overall it's a really hot outfit. Like it's hot, physically hot. I was sweating in it and granted it's July, but still, I mean, these influencers had said how cool it was when they were wearing it. I, it is definitely a don't, don't even waste your money on this thing. Unless you're like super skinny and you get really cold and you really have a preference for hair and pants. <laughs> Otherwise, I say it don't spend the $50 on this outfit. And finally, our last item that I just don't think you should go out and spend your money on is this viral backpack. Now I didn't even bother ordering the backpack because I had seen enough of other reviews from some other YouTubers and then started looking at it on Amazon as well and knew that this was definitely not going to be the backpack for me. Hey y'all, editing Christy here. 
So I realized that the first issue I had with this backpack actually isn't true. So I wanted to give you the other first reason why I don't like this backpack and did not order it. And that is because all of the reviewers said that the water bottle holder on the side of the backpack is way too small. Like the only thing it'll hold is like a standard small little water bottle. So if you have any refillable water bottles whatsoever, it's not going to fit that. And I just, I needed a personal item bag that a real water bottle could fit in. So that is the number one reason why I did not order and don't think you should order this backpack. The second reason that I don't like this backpack is because in order to get to anything when you are in the plane and you've got it under the seat in front of you and you want to get some of those personal item items, item items? <laughs> item items out to use when you're in the plane, you have to unbuckle and unzip the whole thing. And you've got some flat pockets on the front, but to get to anything bulky like your blanket or eye mask or any of those things, you're gonna have to unzip the whole thing to get to whatever you want inside. Instead of having a more narrow um, opening like in a regular backpack. Now, yes, for using it as a second suitcase kind of backpack, I think it would work better for that. But as a personal item, I just don't think it, it doesn't check the boxes for me. And the half reason that I don't particularly like this backpack is because most of the colors that it's available in are super light and they just will i just think they'll get really dirty especially the viral colors of like the light blue and the pink and the kind of sagey green i just see them getting super dirty especially if you're putting your feet up on it underneath the seat in front of you even though i'm not a big fan of that backpack to use as a personal item i did pick up a new backpack for me to try out and pretty much planning on using for my Japan trip. And it's this Love Book backpack. I picked out the gray because I thought it was kind of a little classier than going with um, another one of the colors. I did look at like they had a turquoise, which you know I love my turquoise, but I wanted something that I'd be able to wear around and be a little more uh, conservative and sedated, I guess, looking in Japan. They are kind of a conservative country. I really appreciate that this backpack has nice size water bottle holders on the side. It has a multitude of pockets. It is light colored on the inside of the backpack, so it's easier to see the items that I wanna get out. It does have the computer pouch is closer to my back, so I don't have to be, and inside the backpack, so I don't have to be worried about somebody unzipping it and taking my my computer out. Overall, I am really, really excited to use this. It does have the trolley strap, so I'll be able to slide it onto my carry-on bag. Although, honestly, because I'm going to Japan and I get checked luggage included with my ticket, I will be checking my, my carry-on bag. But my plan is to use just my backpack as my personal item and my level eight carry-on suitcase and that's going to be the only luggage that I am going to take to Japan for a whole month. So stay tuned. I'll have some packing videos of how I'm going to manage to do that in the future. The next new item that I ordered was something that was recommended by Nick over at Nick and Ally. Travel together, travel away. I don't know. I'll link them below. But he did a video recently about how to combat jet lag and how to easily transition over to a new time zone when you are traveling. And because Japan is 13 hours ahead of my East Coast time, I am going to have to go through that. And one of the things that he recommended is this happy light. It is a therapy, LED therapy light. And I I do have a little, you know, seasonal affected disorder, especially in the winter time. But even on days here in the summer when it's super cloudy and overcast, I am a little grumpier and a little less energetic. This morning, I actually used the therapy light while I was meditating because it was really, really cloudy this morning and just used it and turned it on while I was sitting there meditating. And I don't know, I, I have some energy today or I have a lot of energy today. <laughs> so maybe it does work. But his point was to use it when you are trying to adjust and change your time to be on the 
time that you're traveling to and to take it to deal with some of the maybe lack of sunshine that you might have when you get to your destination. I wish I'd had this thing last year when I was in Alaska because boy, I really could have used it up there. It's super thin, so it's easy to pack and take with you. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how it works out. My third new item that I am really excited to try out is this octopus pad that you put on the back of your phone. Well, I wouldn't put it directly on the back of my phone. I'd get a cover that I don't mind having some sticky stuff on and put it on the cover of the phone, but it works no matter what phone you have. It's used to like suction up against a window or a mirror. So you can then either be taking pictures of yourself or video of yourself, or if you're in the plane and you wanna just have your phone up on the window so that you can watch movies or watch your videos, it would work well for that too. It's not very expensive and I've always wanted to get a little more footage in the airplane, but when I don't travel with somebody else, I don't have somebody else to film me, and I'm always up against the window, so I don't really have a good place to set my phone to film anything. So I'm kind of excited to use it to film my upcoming trip. Next up are a few of my summer favorites. Now, they're not necessarily travel must-haves or essentials, but I definitely have traveled with quite a few of these over the past couple of months. They are all new items that I have picked up over the past probably three months and have been using pretty much nonstop since I got them. Now, I haven't mentioned yet, but all of these items are going to be linked below in the description, which you can find by just clicking on that show more button in the description box, but I'll also have them linked in the pinned comment. So moving on, our first item, my first summer favorite is this little black dress because we all need a little black dress, right? And the number one reason why this dress is so awesome is it has pockets. Yes, ladies, we all know that pockets are key to any dress that we buy these days. I love that it not only has pockets, but it's also a nice length on me. I like the shorter length. I'm not a big fan, as I've talked about before, of midi or maxi dresses, especially for walking around and doing stuff. And I like that it's got this pretty little detail on the neck and it's got pretty little fringe on the hem too. It's just a very, very sweet dress that can be dressed up or dressed down depending on what you are doing. And it's a linen blend, so it's a nice lightweight for summer wear. But you could wear it into the fall with like a sweater and scarf too. And with the dress, I am wearing one of my favorite pairs of shoes this summer, and it's this rattan pair of sandals. They're like Beach Matisse, I think is the name of the company. And I just love the way that they look. They are super comfortable. I love them so much that even though they're a little on the heavy side, I did pack them and take them to Isla Mujeres with me. And I wore, wore them a couple of times. I wore them with my dress and I wore them with my white jeans and they just looked great and summery and really fun. So if you're looking for a nice little sandal, these would be a great option. They're like kind of like wearing a flat because even though they've got a little bit of height to them, they're not um, a super wedged shoe. Then I have this straw bag. It's actually a zippered straw bag that I've been using as a purse and a beach bag. When I went to Isla Mujeres, I used it as like my beach bag. I put my towels and my sunscreen and all that stuff in there. But around town here, I've actually been using it as my summer purse. It's just kind of fun and it's got a little bit of design to it. The leather handle is really nice, but I love that it actually has a zipper on the top. In fact, I ended up using it as my personal item bag coming back from Isla me Harris because I had to check my suitcase and it worked really really well for that and I have tied on here one of the two lightweight scarves that I picked up this spring I have talked about how I like to have a scarf when I travel no matter what season it is, but I don't wanna travel with a heavy scarf when I'm traveling in the spring and summer. So I looked for something that was a little more lightweight, but would do double duty, like not only be able to like wrap around me if I got cold, but also be a nice little addition for an accessory item to wear. I picked up an orange one that I took to Isla Mujeres with me because it went with the color scheme that I had picked out for my capsule wardrobe there. And I just picked up this red one, well I get picked up, I always say picked up. I mean, it's Amazon. 
I ordered this red one because uh, my color scheme for Japan is going to be like red and black and white. I These have been really, really nice and they're not very expensive. For a lightweight item, it adds a little bit of panache to your outfit. Summer wouldn't be complete if it weren't for a new bathing suit. And although I do wear bikinis most of the time, I like to have the option of having a one piece. And I, you know, putting on the extra pounds over the past couple of years, it's been really challenging for me to find a one piece that I like and didn't feel like you know kind of a stuffed sausage in. <laughs> but I really love this blue one that I ordered from Amazon because it has the ruching that helps kind of cover up those trouble spots and because I am short-waisted I like to have a little more height on my leg holes and I love that they have the ability to adjust the leg height on this bathing suit. So if you don't want to show as much leg or hip you can always you know let that out and you know have a a longer bottom that covers more but for me I really like to like kind of hike it up a little bit and show a little more leg because I think it flatters my figure and gives it actually gives me a little bit more of a waist when I do that so I do love love this bathing suit it's really comfortable and the multitude of colors that it comes in but the blue the cobalt blue is definitely a favorite this year and over the bathing suit I have another favorite which is this red cover-up again another item I am planning to take to Japan with me but I've also been using it this summer as my bathing suit cover-up it's just a fun colorful way to you know cover your shoulders or cover up and just throw a little something on over your bathing suit. The quintessential item for summer for me is a pair of cutoff denim shorts. Now I actually have two pairs of Levi denim shorts. This pair I ordered from Amazon, but I got another pair from Kohl's earlier this summer that are available on Amazon as well, and I'm showing both of them to you. One is a little more distressed, and I know some of you ladies, it's not gonna be your thing. I mean, some of you aren't gonna like shorts at all. This more sedate pair <laughs> is the one that I ordered from Amazon and they are very very comfortable and a very nice length flattering you can wear them with pretty much anything I will say that I would suggest that you order up a size maybe even two sizes on them if you prefer your shorts to be a little on the loose side these are a size up so I you know part of me might order another pair a little bit larger just to have kind of that option to have a looser pair and a tighter pair but i do love how comfortable they are and my last summer favorite are these shoes these wedge shoes if you saw my hot weather capsule wardrobe video then i talked about these shoes and how i was inspired by jennifer aniston to get this pair of shoes they are not the ones jennifer aniston has they are not that expensive by any stretch but I wanted something of the style like she wears and I found these on Amazon and y'all I have loved these shoes again I have packed them for the trip that we took to Johnson City and worn them with several things so it's always a toss-up which pair of my new sandals I'm gonna wear when I am going out because I I love both of them they're both super comfortable I will say these wedges are a little more lightweight so they won't make your luggage as heavy if that's your determining factor on shoes. I I haven't decided yet if I'm taking one of these to Japan or not. I'm, I'm not sure. I think space is going to be really, really tight for me in my packing, but we'll see. Now let's get into my Travel Essentials All Stars. These are the items that I take with me every trip I go on or almost every trip I go on and we're going to start with something that's probably going to be no surprise to you guys that have been with me for a while and that is my tripped travel compression bags I especially love these national parks ones but really any of the trip travel compression bags you cannot go wrong with I have two sets of them which has come in handy a few times being able to mix and match some of those bags and and have things in case I run out of the bags. I like having everything kind of compartmentalized in my suitcase. So having those extra bags is really, really nice. And they just make a very good item. The zippers are awesome. I've had my first set that I've owned, I've had for about three years now, and they have been on 
many, many trips. They're great. They work amazing. And if you've watched my videos for a while, you've seen me pack in them multiple times. My next all-star is the turtle neck rest. I have tried pretty much all of the different neck rests and I have not found anything that works as well as the turtle neck rest. One of the main reasons that I like the turtle so much is because it's not as bulky. It doesn't take up as much room. And the second reason I really like it is because there is some structure to hold your neck up. Everything else is something that compresses down. So as the weight of your head kind of smushes it down, it keeps moving and getting you know smushed more with the turtle because there's the structure there that's a firm structure your head stays pretty much in the same place the whole time that you're wearing it so I I cannot recommend the turtle enough next is an item that's a little newer in my all-stars and that is this portable fan that I got earlier this year now it's not only just a great fan that's perfect for when I have a hot flash or it's just stifling hot on the airplane for whatever reason but you can also use the fan as a flashlight and as an extra charger for your phone you know just in case your charger is running out of steam or perhaps you have your phone out and you already have your fan out and you can just charge your phone while you're using your fan too either way it's just a nice option to have and it's it's just fun. I granted, I was a little like, mm, what is this when I first opened it back when I got it, but it is, it has come through and been a really nice addition to my personal item bag. For my longer flights and especially for my red eyes and like my upcoming international 15 hour plus flight, I do like to bring an eye mask with me and I love this Mzu eye mask. It has the cushions that are a little bit deeper so my eyelashes don't hit up against the eye mask itself and the cushions are cooling against your face. It doesn't make your face hot when you are trying to sleep and that way you don't have to have that portable fan blowing on you while you've got the eye mask on your face and all of them just like look like a hot mess. Who's the hot mess now? But this eye mask is really, really comfortable and I'm pretty picky about my eye mask. And I love my silk eye mask that I got from Lily Silk. It's nice and light and comfortable too. But for travel, I really, especially long distance travel, I really like this eye mask from Imsu. This next item is a little bit spendier than a lot of the other options out there. But for me, it is a non-negotiable. It's something I have been traveling with for over 10 years now. I got it for my trip to Guatemala and I have pretty much used it every time I have traveled since then. Even if it's not really a long flight, I just kind of like to have the option and have it with me. And it is this Sea to Summit sleeping bag liner. And it has been on pretty much every trip I have been on for the past 10 years. It's a very nice, lightweight, micro fleece liner that again you're supposed to use kind of inside your sleeping bag it packs down into this nice stuff bag and it just does not take up hardly any space and for flights that i'm not necessarily using it as a blanket i will use it to tuck up behind my back so that I'll have a little bit of lumbar support. Like I really could use it in this chair right now while I'm doing this video. Boy, I'm sitting up straight, a lot straighter than I have been. But that is something that I travel with all the time. It is $65, so like I said, it's a little spendy for a travel blanket, but I, it has been worth it for me. Another newer item that has made it into my all stars for my personal item packing is this hideaway collapsible water bottle. I have used this for the past two or three months and it is perfect. Now it doesn't keep things as cold as my Contigo water bottle does, but I love that I can just fold it down when I am done with it and I don't have this bulky item that's kind of useless when I don't have water in it that I'm having to lug around. It has just been perfect. I used it for hiking up in Johnson City 
and I used it when I traveled to Mexico. It has been lovely. Now somebody mentioned on one of my other videos where I talked about this water bottle about being able to clean it. Well, it's got such a wide mouth, you can easily put a bottle brush down in there and clean it out really easily. I don't there's no there's no issues with cleaning it like i said i really enjoyed this water bottle and i think everyone should always travel with their own water bottle another all-star that has been in my personal item for well over 10 years is my kindle and i'm kind of looking at buying a new one this year i like the fact that they've come out with a waterproof kindle um, I can't remember the name of it. The Osprey? No. The Oasis. That's it. The Oasis Kindle that came out this year that is waterproof so you can use it in the pool or in the bathtub and I think that that is something that I'm going to invest in. Maybe maybe after I hit 20,000 subscribers I'll buy one of those for myself. But my Kindle travels everywhere with me fully loaded up with um, books to read because I have mentioned before I like to get on the plane and just get lost in a really good book. It makes the time go by so fast. I do have a few non-air travel travel essential all-stars that are in my packing list pretty much every time I pack for a trip and the first is this cute little portable JBL Bluetooth speaker. I love having something like this with me when I travel to be able to listen to my podcast or music in my hotel room or Airbnb or wherever I'm staying. I don't know about you, I love listening to upbeat music when I'm getting ready to go out and I just feel all happy and excited about being in a new place. So having my own little speaker is really fun. It's also great to hook onto the back of a backpack if you want to take it hiking with you. Now I'm not a fan at all of people playing music when you are hiking. But if you're in bear territory and you need to be making some noise, having this on the back of your backpack might be a good idea. The next is something that I have talked about a ton and that is the pocket tripod. If you want to be able to have memories to take home with you of yourself being on vacation, having a pocket tripod to be able to capture pictures and videos of yourself out there doing all of the fun things or with your family and you not being in the pictures because you're always the one taking it, having this little pocket tripod, which is the size of a business card, is the perfect item to bring along with you. It's very easy to use and very lightweight, obviously, and this also saves you the stress of maybe having to ask a stranger to take your picture. <laughs> Lastly is something that's kind of might seem like a little bit of a silly item, but I swear these have saved the day a few times and it's these foldable packable hangers and these are perfect for when you get to your Airbnb or your hotel room and there's just not enough hangers especially if you're like traveling with other ladies and you all have a whole bunch of stuff you need to hang up bringing a few of these along is always a great idea they're also perfect if you want to wash your clothes in the sink and hang them up in the bathroom to dry or if you're drying bathing suits etc it's nice to have something to actually hang them on and finally for our bonus items these are a couple of things that just didn't seem to fit in any of the other categories that I talked about today, but I wanted to make sure that I mentioned them to you because they may be on sale during the prime days. And the first is my go-to carry-on suitcase, the Level 8 20-inch suitcase. I have been using this workhorse for the past year and it has not failed me at all. I'm very excited to use it on my Japan trip because we are going all over Japan for four weeks and I need something that's lightweight and durable and easy to move around and this checks all of those boxes. If you've watched any of my packing videos you see how much that the suitcase can hold which I'm really going to put to the test for this Japan trip. And for your road trip travels my number one must have is this DB power car charger. Not only can this little beauty jump your car battery, but it comes in handy when you have multiple people who need to charge multiple devices at one time. In this video here, I share my other road trip travel essentials.